Hi everybody, this is Joe with Joe's Premium Firewood bringing you another fun-filled, exciting video. Today's video, I'm going to be putting the valve assembly back together on this Easton Made Ultra Log Splitter. I had an incident a couple days ago where this block I was trying to split, it's all knotty, was split and it fell back on top of here and where, where this, where this sits up here it got sucked under there i tried pulling it off but the ram goes so quick and what it did is this uh fitting right here snapped in the middle through there and i got doused in uh hydraulic fluid i'll put a link to the video on the end screens if you haven't seen it yet so i, I was real lucky i didn't get hurt you know it shook me up for a second because i didn't realize what happened but once i looked at it it was a simple fix and uh it, it didn't break this or it, you know anything else it was very minor and uh and i'm very thankful for that before i get into it i just want to address a few things um first off these pieces should have never been brought back here my dumbass brother sees free wood and he takes it he doesn't realize the work that it takes and i will show you how it should have been done I never should have put those onto this machine. This machine, it was not designed for pieces that you, you have to be in the world's strongest man competition to try to lift up. So he never should have brought them back. And I never should have tried to do that. A lot of people, you know, you guys are entitled to your opinion and, and a lot of you, you know, have been saying, oh, this, it, you haven't been too bad. And, and like, oh, it's crap and whatever, but, um, a lot of people like saying that this push plate is too small and uh but the thing is the wood that i normally split is like this you see that all them blocks there nothing over like 16 18 inches and same with over here i tell my log suppliers not to bring that stuff if they bring if it's big like this they need to quarter it there if it's got knots like it I don't want it. I leave that stuff in the woods all day long. Another thing I'd like to touch on is uh, the customer service that I have received from Andrew Easton. I went to ask him for to how to get this part, where to find it at. He had already next day aired it to me at no charge, you know. And and I take I take part of the blame for this, or you know, it was a in, in my opinion it was a fluke accident. I could probably split another ten thousand pieces. And, and that not happen again. It just, just the way that this block is shaped, it, I think right here just was sticking out and it landed on there. It was just like what I call the perfect storm. And, and when they, when this pushes, uh, there's no way they could have anticipated it pulling it back there. But now they do know. And, and if Andrew thinks he needs to make modifications, I, he'll do it. They're, they're a top-notch company, and this is very high-quality uh, machinery here. Now, I want to show you what I talked about on uh, what the Husky has. When I was talking about, see, these right here, these blockers, and the, uh, the, the control valve is set back and offset. This, this protects that. When it, when it goes down and gets into a block sometimes, it hits it like a knotty one like that, sometimes the wedge gets stuck in there. And, then, and you, know, you back it out, and then this knocks the piece off because you know, the piece would be way up into here, so it, you can get it off there. And if you notice, when I was splitting those pieces the other day, one, a couple of them did get stuck, and I had to take another piece of wood that I had already split and hit it off of there. Because it's going to normally it's going to get stuck down there. Like I say, they couldn't have an anticipated that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this set up here on the tripod and get to work. So I don't know how long this is going to take me, but it took my brother, I don't know, about five minutes to get it apart. So I'm going to put some gloves. I could probably do it with gloves on. But the tools I got, I got a inch and a quarter wrench right here. 
and then on the other side there's a one of them one of them takes a 7 8 one a 7 8 wrench so the first thing i'm going to do and this this is how we took it apart this is the last thing that came off we took off all the hoses we'll just screw it screw it in here like this I mean, it was real simple to take apart. I don't even know why I tried. I hired my brother to do it cause just because he's a plumber. He was using a crescent wrench, and I got the proper tools. I want to get it where it's nice and snug. And in the front here, right about there. So I would say there, that, that part's done. Now, now this comes up to here. Make sure it's on there straight. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Am I going the right way? Maybe it's backwards for uh. strip it the last thing I want to do seems like it's turning harder than it should I'm gonna, I'm gonna back it off and just I don't know it should be lined up but it doesn't help that it's like 20 degrees out here but maybe that's just how it goes yeah that, I just want to make sure it's not stri uh, stripping the threads let me try to turn it this way because I don't think it should is it going up? Oh, it's going the right way. Okay. I guess you just have to use the wrench the whole way. Let me just leave it like that. I think that's okay. I mean, it seems like there's a lot of threads on there where it shouldn't be. Let me get this turned off here. <clears throat> They'll go. I'll show you how we're gonna deal with this thing here in a minute. So, let's get this other side. Wish I could look at the pictures and see if it's okay. If it should be all the way up there. I don't know why it doesn't want to go. <clears throat> but let's see. This is the one we got. I got to do this one first because if I do this one, then that one's in the way. So I can get to this. Do it yourself, folks. Do it yourself. This one seems to be going on there a lot easier and a lot farther. adjust that other one because this is going to turn a lot easier maybe I just didn't have it lined up right I hope you can see it should be on there yeah 
Now, see there's only a few threads left. Let's get it snug. See how much more is on here. Well, I'm, well, I'm on this side. Hope I didn't strip them too bad. So I wanted to pay my brother. I was gonna pay my brother, but he was all grumpy and didn't want to make a video this morning. So I said, the hell with it, I'll do it myself. Okay. Let me go adjust this other size side. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be making fun of me. But well, live and learn. It's a learning process. I want to turn it the right way, just I guess I gotta have it lined up better. Just don't know why it wants to not line up as well. I'm sure a lot of you guys out there laughing. It's all right. If you want to laugh at me, laugh at me. That's as high as it wants to go. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna talk to Andrew. I was gonna start it up, but I just don't think it's screwed up all the way. You know, it's screwed on there tight enough compared to. You see this side. See how far that's on there. And that that I know those are on. This side is just uh, not sure what I'm doing wrong. But like I say, I'm here for you guys' entertainment too. Either learning or laughing. The two L's. That's how you watch. Watch these videos. You learn or you laugh at me. You learn from me or you laugh at me. Because I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I know it's on here, right? It's not like it's on backwards. There's only like one way to do it. For some reason, it just doesn't want to... Uh, and I don't know if I should start it, put all that pressure on here with only like two or three, two or three threads tightened it. But it, 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 sealed, it seems to be sealed, but like I say, it's, you know, just, you can see, I don't know, thread might be a little bit stripped in there. I don't know. You see that? Doesn't want to go all the way up. Might have to get a tap for it. You see, you see this metal sticking here? That's not a good sign. Because I don't want to. I don't want to strip it, make it any worse. I don't know if this can be replaced. Probably have to be the hole. Take take the hose off there and do it. But uh, I'm just going to leave that for now <sighs> until I talk to Andrew. So I'm going to show you how, how we normally deal with this stuff. Here's your bonus footage. This 
thing is going to want to fall over. Damn, I'm tired of this thing. Like I say, normally I just leave it in the woods. This should be warmed up. Of course, it sits for five minutes and then it gets cold. And that's how it should have been done right there. See that? Now I got three manual pieces. Instead of me trying to break my back and try lifting them up, that's how it should be done. So, all right, I hope you guys are entertained on this video. I'm sure you were now that that might be stripped. I don't know, maybe my brother can get it on there. He has, we can get a tap or something. All right, thanks for watching. Check out these videos at the end, guys. We'll see you at the next one.